Hi everyone, this is Krypton Tricks channel. As I discussed in a previous video, blockchains are rapidly gaining popularity and developing new use cases of asset tokenization, decentralized finance and other applications. Several major platforms such as Ethereum, Cosmos and Polkadot offer different features and development environments, making them attractive to different projects, use cases and end users. However, the useful features of each new platform are currently offered to less than 1% of the ecosystem's users, namely the native token holders of that platform. Axelor Network is designed to change that. From the previous video we know that. Axelor is a platform for developers and the global community. Its governance model is open to everyone. Developers can propose new integration points, routing and protocols at the application level, and users can decide whether to accept them by voting on proposals and, if approved, validators accept changes. Advantages of the Axelor For blockchain platform creators, it is possible to easily connect their blockchains to all other blockchain ecosystems. For dApp creators, there is the ability to host their dApps anywhere, lock, unlock, transfer assets, and interact with applications on any other chain via the CTP API. For users, users can interact with all the apps in the ecosystem directly from their wallets. What does Axelor offer? Axelor network consists of a decentralized network that connects blockchain ecosystems that speak different languages and a set of protocols with APIs on top, making it easy for applications to make requests. The network connects existing standalone blockchains and interoperability centers. The goal of the project is to enable application developers to build such applications more easily, using a universal protocol and API, without having to implement their own protocols or rewrite applications as new bridges are developed. Protocols in the Axelor network Cross-chain gateway protocol. This protocol is used to connect multiple anonymous blockchain ecosystems and is responsible for communication between them. Blockchains do not need to speak their own language, the developers of their platforms do not need to make changes to their blockchains, and their blockchains can be easily connected to the global network. Cross-chain transfer protocol. This is a stack of application layer protocols that is placed on top of the routing protocols. Application developers can connect their dApps to any blockchain to make requests. Users can use the protocol to interact with the applications on any blockchain using simple API calls. This protocol ensures program interoperability across different blockchain ecosystems. Axelor uses a delegated proof-of-decision model, similar to Cosmos Hub. Users elect validators who must bind their stake to participate in consensus and maintain high quality of service. The DPO's model maintains a large decentralized set of validators and robust incentives to ensure that validators are responsible for maintaining bridges and shares of cryptographic threshold schemes. As part of the consensus, validators run other blockchain software, allowing them to verify their state. Validators report these states to the Axelor blockchain, and once enough of them report it, the state of Bitcoin, Ethereum and other blockchains is recorded in the Axelor. All in all, the Axelor network can be seen as a decentralized inter-blockchain read-write oracle that could revolutionize the industry. This was the second part where we learn about the Axelor network. Thank you for your attention. Good luck. Bye.